My grandpa owned and ran David Pharmacy, and my grandma, or Mimi as we called her, ran the gift shop side, which eventually included a quaint coffee bar. And my mom worked at David Pharmacy for my entire childhood, managing the business of both sides and collaborating with my grandma on the gift shop, buying and aesthetics. So I spent a lot of time at what we referred to as just the pharmacy. Stopping by after school, working afternoons and Saturdays, either in the gift shop or delivering medicine, taking inventory, stealing candy, cleaning, giving my sometimes unsolicited input on gift shop buying, and spending many afternoons in high school and college at the coffee bar, um, venting to my mom or Mimi about my latest teenage drama. There are so many vivid childhood memories rooted in that little building for me, but I think Christmas at the pharmacy was probably the most magical. The gift shop would flood with holiday decor, mostly for sale, but some the staple display props that we would dig out from the basement each holiday season and strew about the tables and shelves. A big bay window always housed the most elaborate displays, and my Mimi would let me help her Uh, stage the items she wanted to highlight there. Holiday music played and we would offer complimentary mulled cider to shoppers served from an old crock pot that my grandpa handed down to me after the passing of my grandma. I still use that crock pot specifically for mulled cider through the holidays. Uh, The gift shop was always busier during the Christmas season bustling with regulars and maybe new buyers looking for unique and meaningful sometimes last minute gifts I remember driving over to the pharmacy after school just as dusk was setting in cold December to help with the afternoon gift wrapping. Shelves of tissue paper, heavy rolls of gift wrap, and velvet ribbons lined the customer counter, and there was such warmth and such festivity. And as the seasons turn, I still feel compelled to drive over to the pharmacy and pick out holiday gifts for my friends or steal wrapping paper from my Mimi's stash and just take in the inviting smells of spices and pine. When my grandmother passed away at Christmas in 2011, my mom took over the gift shop and ran it entirely on her own until 2014 when my grandfather retired. We still talk about the days spent there all the time, the afternoons chatting with regulars, pricing new inventory, making cappuccinos. The last items that I ever took from the pharmacy still sport their price tags, handwritten by my Mimi, as every tag was.